Okay, so this is the SNARS monthly meeting. It's the presentation portion. Today is April, uh, April, April 2nd, 2022. I'm so this is Case Success T, your host, and I'm so happy to have um, uh, somebody near and dear to SNARS. It's NN6H November, November 6th Hotel Tom out of Discovery Bay, California, also has a place in Lincoln, California. <laughs> He's been a very helpful um, to SNARS. He's the net controller the first Monday of the month. Uh, sorry, the first Tuesday of the month for the um, weekly um, TechNet on DMR and Fusion. So um, Tom not only is going to tell us about this, but we had a different speaker for today, and we had to switch it around. So Tom graciously um, decided to help us out. So he's also with the Foothill Amateur Radio Society or club down in um, in down the hill there in the Auburn Lincoln area. A bunch of their people came up here to Reno on a train junket um, and a little um, overnight back um, back a few weeks ago, and I got a chance to meet them, and somehow the conversation, a clear note came up. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Tom NN6H, and go ahead and bring up your screen share, Tom. Welcome. Okay, thank you very much, Barry. Uh, let me bring up the screen okay, share. Before we start, I'm so sorry. I just want to check one thing. Um, John Miller or somebody, can you confirm you can hear us and see us okay on your end? Just to double check before we go on. Just be sure it's all working. The technology is working on the uh, on the other end. Don Miller or somebody at the uh, meeting. In person. Stand by. Stand by. Here, you're hearing us. Looks like it's working. What What you need, Barry? But just want to be sure you guys can hear us and also you can oh, uh, no, see can us, hear right? Us. Okay, all, all yep. perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, over to N and 6H, Tom, out of Discovery Bay, California, uh, by the Delta. Welcome, Tom. Thank you so much for coming today. Okay, thank you, Barry. Um, let me go ahead and... Okay, uh, can you see my uh, screen okay? Per perfect, yep. Introduction, a clear note all-star. Okay, great. Take your away. Yeah. Thank you very much, and uh, welcome to everybody, uh, both on Zoom and uh, in person there. Uh, congratulations on your first hybrid meeting. I know it's a little tough here with all that we've gone through the last couple of years. But anyway, my name is Tom, uh, like Barry said, NN6H, and today I'll be talking about the All-Star and ClearNode. And uh, really, ClearNode is just kind of a commercialized version of an All-Star node, and I'll kind of get into a little discussion of what that means. Uh, I've, I've been involved with uh, at least having a clear note for probably the, about the last six months. Uh, we also, on a very set, on the W6EK repeater, which is the Sierra Foothills Amateur Radio Club, we do a, um, a weekly net on Mondays at 7 o'clock talking about clear note. And uh, clear note is very popular, and there's a lot of uh, people that, that join that net coming all over the country because it is it does have an all-star node so people can get into it. So uh, kind of what is what is all-star if uh, you're not familiar with that? And generally it's just a radio interface uh, connected to a small computer that's connected to the internet and it's used to talk to uh, you know repeaters and other nodes. Uh, it's all set up through what they call all-star link. Which is kind of which is a network of amateur radio repeaters. They basically uh, register node numbers and stuff, and allow and help route uh, traffic across the internet to these different repeaters. Uh, it, it is a node radio. It is like a little simplex repeater. It is analog, so basically you are get, uh, talking on analog radio into this little radio module that gets uh, digitized and sent across the internet, and then it's picked up uh, at another node or a repeater and converted back to uh, analog and then fed back uh, as if it was another station coming into the repeater. Uh, the competition for this before All Star was really IRLP and, and Echolink. In fact, as we'll find out, that Echolink is is actually supported within the All Star uh, configuration. Uh, what is it used for? Well, I mentioned uh, for connecting repeaters and other nodes together. It can also be used as a bridging system, uh, bridging repeaters and different modes. So a lot of people use All Star to be able to have you know DMR and fusion and Echolink and, and analog in, into a system. So that becomes a very useful thing. 
And uh, one of the main purposes is that it's uh, useful when you're out of the area. For example, I, uh, I'm a member of the Sierra Foothills Club, uh, which is about 70 miles from here. I can hit it on RF occasionally, hit their, repeat, their two meter repeater. But uh, with All Star, I can actually get into it, you know, every morning when they do their their uh, coffee break net, and also talking to the people up there. So uh, it becomes very useful for that. And a lot of uh, people use it, uh, like with RVs or camping, or just when they're remote and they're not around. They don't have a radio. They don't have radio access to their favorite repeater or their home repeater, and uh, they would just use the uh, the All Star link for that. So. It, as long as you have internet and uh, a little simple, you know, HT radio, you can get in. Uh, why use All Star? You know, over other connections like DMR or Fusion. Well, it has a very clean audio connection. Uh, it's based on Astris, which is a voice over IP software, and uh, which uh, and it has a high enough you know, band rate that it gives you a very good, uh, clear connection. Uh, it can also be used with a simple analog radio, so you don't need to have a DMR radio or buy a you know a Fusion radio or D Star to do, to use it. You can just use the uh, probably the radio that you have. Uh, it, to implement this, it's very simple. I, you can even have a simple connection to an existing uh, repeater system. So it allows uh, actually adding it to uh, to a repeater very simple. You just add a, a little computer like a Raspberry Pi, and a in a, a little board that connects up and to the internet and then you're able to actually uh, or interfaces to the repeater itself and it comes in as an audio uh, connection usually on another port and again it allows uh, repeater access for users that are out of the rf range it uh, all star is also based on on a well-documented and open source software uh, asterisk and ham uh, voip and many repeaters are now using All Star. If you actually go to repeaterbook.com, and you can actually search uh, for uh, which repeaters are using All Star, and you'll find that there are many of them that are that are doing that. And a lot of repeaters have uh, have nets like uh, you know the Absolute Tech Net, uh, which is on Tuesday afternoons. That has an All Star node, so uh, uh, becoming more and more popular. And uh, typically, if you have an All Star installation on your repeater, uh, hooking up, having uh, Echo Link is also very simple. Uh, it can be run on the same Raspberry Pi, and, and gives you kind of an additional benefit for those that may not have an actual All Star node. Uh, what do you need to use uh, All Star? Well, uh, there, there's really two things. One is if you're a user node, you just need a node radio. Which is something that will receive the reception from from your HT, and a node radio can be a dedicated board like a, a hat that they put on uh, uh, on a Raspberry Pi, or it can actually be a like a Balfang or some other radio that you've modified and and connect up to the uh, to the to the computer or to the Pi. You do need a, a computer running in Linux, which is like uh, either a PC or a Raspberry Pi or Raspberry Pi being the more popular uh, solution. And you need access to the internet. And that's pretty much all you need to, to do that. Uh, for a repeater mode, a uh, node, uh, again, is a radio interface board that would interface uh, from a Pi or from a computer to the repeater itself, uh, maybe going through a controller, through a port. And then uh, again, a Raspberry Pi or a PC running, running Linux, and then also access to the internet. So the I've been talking kind of in general about what All Star is. Well, ClearNode is really kind of a commercialized version of All Star. Uh, if you do a search on the internet for an All Star node, you'll find there are a number of different ways to build one. Uh, and that typically you have to you know bring in the software. You have to you know uh, get a get a computer, which is like a, a Raspberry Pi and get a radio board or a radio interface, something to interface to a, to a radio to make it work. Well, ClearNode was kind of brought up as, a, okay, here, for those that don't have that, that uh, technology or don't have that tech, uh, you know, abilities, a ClearNode is kind of a commercialized version of it. So it comes kind of in two versions. One is what they call the ClearNode, which is based on a Pi 3B or 3B plus. 
And then they have a, a smaller one, which is now based on a new Pi Zero, which they, they call the Clear Zero. So th those are two different products. And they both do this the same thing. Uh, the limitation of the, the Clear Zero is it doesn't have a, a, a Ethernet port. So you have to do everything through Wi-Fi on the, on the Pi itself. Uh, either product can be, can be delivered pre-configured which is uh, kind of a, a nice thing where you give uh, and, and clear, clear note and clear zero is uh, done by a company called Node Ventures. And they, if you give them the information when you purchase one, they will go ahead and pre-configure everything. So if you give them an all-star node number, you give them your password, you give them all, even your Wi-Fi information, uh, when you receive the, the, clear, the clear node or the clear zero, it will be configured and ready to run by just plugging it in right out of the box. Um, I, I probably should mention here that I am not uh, a representative of, Twitter, of uh, Node Ventures. I, I don't have any, uh, I'm just a user of their products. So I'm just kind of here to explain what they're offering and, and kind of give you some information about that. So I don't have any, uh, any vested in, interest in the company itself, except that uh, they do have some good products and they have good good tech support. And it does fill a niche, I think, for people that really want to do something uh, or want to have a, an actual node without having to actually do a, a building it up and loading software and doing all those things. Uh, one thing that's unique about the clear node is that it, it does support all star echo link and the, the uh, digital modes, DMR, you know, YSF, uh, those things. And it supports it by just using an analog radio. Which is which is pretty pretty unique. Uh, you can you know if you build your own uh, version of a clear node or an all star node, you can add those features. But again, it's going out there and having to understand how to load all the software and how to configure things yourself to make it work. But for those that are you know tech savvy with that stuff, you you can do that. Uh, the other unique thing about a clear note is that it also is controlled with a uh, an iOS, iOS or an Android app. Uh, so it, you actually can download that from the app store. It's a free app and it will you give it the information and it will find your your clear note and it will allow you to to control it to actually uh, connect to nodes to sit, do different settings and all those things. Uh, as far as a, a standard all-star node is that you typically would talk to it or, or control it by DTMF tones. So there are certain tones that allow you to connect and disconnect to other nodes. Uh, there's also Supermon, which is a web application um, that, that's on, a, on an all-star node that would allow you to do that from a computer. As I mentioned, uh, uh, All-Star and also the Clear Note is, is based on open source, source software, Asterisk and uh, Ham VOIP. And Asterisk has been around for a long time. It's what a lot of the voice over IP uh, stuff is using. Uh, so the, the Clear Note is based on the same software that you would have if you were to configure your own All-Star Node. And again, the, the Clear Note and the Clear Zero supports digital modes that are not found in the standard all-star configuration, but it is something that can be added if you want to. So uh, it just gives you a nice kind of all, all in one package. Uh, some people have talked about, okay, well, how does a clear node differ from a zoom spot or an open spot? And open spot and zoom spots have been around for a long time. Um, and those typically give you access to digital modes. Well, as far as the radio interface is concerned, uh, a clear node uh, uses an analog radio where an open spot or a zoom spot uses a digital radio. So you have to have, you know, like a DMR radio, a fusion radio, or a D-star radio in order to use an open spot or a zoom spot. As far as the modes, uh, clear node, I, I mentioned earlier, does support all-star. It does support echo link and it supports the digital modes. Uh, all the digital modes except for D-Star. So D-Star is not supported, but it supports these modes with a analog radio, which uh, means you don't have to go out and buy something. Uh, you know, I have to, don't have to go buy a, a DMR radio or a fusion radio in order to get on DMR or fusion. 
as far as the open spot and the zoom spot, it supports the, the digital modes, but it does require a digital radio. And those products do not support all star. So the all star has is kind of a, a better, you know, all, all, all I guess all in one solution, if you, as long as you don't need to use a, a D star. And the typical cost, you know, between for the zoom spot and the clear node is between uh, 150 you know, and 300 dollars. Uh, of course, that depends if you want to you know, build one yourself, but uh, the, the clear node is on the, the upper end of that range and around the $300, $300 range. So, you know, it, it does cost a little bit more for something that's pre-configured and, 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 and ready to run. Okay, here we have uh, this, uh, this, this picture here shows a picture of a clear node. And you can see that with a little analog radio, Yesu radio. Even though their Yesu radio, it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be a Yesu radio, and that's actually a uh, fusion radio. But it would be talking to the clear node in analog mode. So you have the clear node, and then you have the uh, little power brick that comes with it, and you can see that the short antenna. The uh, clear node is typically UHF. They do have, uh, I guess, a VHF version you can build, but usually uhf has much uh, there's a lot more frequencies to be able to pick from for uh, for doing the simplex operation then this picture shows uh, a clear no a clear zero and a clear a clear node so the clear zero is the smaller one in in the front that's based on a, a pi uh, pi zero w and then the uh, the second one is based on a, a pi three b or th Pi 3B plus. And you can see both have the little stubby antenna for, for the UHF. Uh, the, the main advantage of the, the clear zero is that it does, or the, or the clear, sorry, the clear node, which is the larger one, is that it does have a uh, ethernet connection. So you can actually hardwire it into your, your router if you want to, where, uh, and, it, and both of them support Wi-Fi. So the clear zero would be, be a Wi-Fi only uh, a solution where the, uh, the clear node would do Wi-Fi and ethernet for connecting to your internet. Then how, how do you control an all-star node or a clear node? Well, I, I mentioned a uh, clear node has an, an app that, that's on the iOS and Android. And uh, this, this is more unique just for the clear node or the clear zero. So it becomes very, very nice for controlling that. You can control it through uh, DTMF tones, uh, both all star and clear node. Uh, they're, you know, uh, like a star, a star three, then the node number would connect you to, a, to another node. And, you, uh, and then you do an asterisk uh, uh, one, and then the node number to disconnect. Then there's some other ones too that would give you, you know, the time and weather and stuff like that, that, that has some of the features. And, that, and that's pretty standard through the, the clear note and the all-star. There's an application uh, usually actually on the, uh, the all-star node or the clear note, which is Supermon. And this gives you kind of a super monitor type program that you would interface to by going to a web browser and then going, connecting to your node that way. And then you can view connections, you can connect and disconnect from other nodes, you can get information, status information, you can see messages that are, you know, error messages that uh, check out your internet connection and all that stuff through that. So it becomes a, a nice, uh, it is like a super monitor. Uh, these are uh, re, uh, computers, so you can do an SSH, which is a way of getting into it through a terminal. If you're really, really geeky, you can get in there and actually get into the uh, the Unix part of it with the command line and uh, make configuration, modify it, update things, uh, and even get in there and, and uh, tune up the different audio things. I mean, <clears throat> there, there's a lot of stuff that's happening under the covers there that, and there's an interface that can be used to, uh, to access that stuff. So you can do that through SSH. And then uh, All Star is uh, connected through All Star Link, which is a way of uh, when you want to connect to another node, they have a server that that, lit, that con configures where all those different nodes are and how to get to them. So you can go to allstarlink.org, and uh, you can actually find information there or what nodes are connected, and also do search for nodes and things. 
So that's kind of a, a good resource. There are other applications and stuff that will, will control an all-star node, uh, a DV switch and some other written Zoiper and stuff like that. And, and so there are some other things that, that people have done. This is all open source stuff. So there's a lot of uh, activity there in, in the, uh, you know, on the internet, you, a lot of YouTube videos and stuff on configuring and making all-star and, and how to do all that stuff. And it's being used for a lot of things. Uh, even talk about using, making voting re, uh, receivers for repeaters, using, uh, connecting them through all-star as long as they have an internet or, or even using uh, some of the uh, 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 connections there that, that don't use the internet, but just be able to connect up between different nodes. So it's, it's a very popular thing. Uh, so how do you get started with a, a clear node or all star? Well, the first thing you need to do, whether you know whether you make your own or if you get a clear node, is you need to get a node number, register for a node number, and you do that by going to allstarlink.org and then sign up there. Uh, then you can either bit a buy or you can build an all star node. You can you know get clear node or a clear zero. And that's by going to uh, node-ventures.com. And uh, you can see all the information there on, on that, or on buying one and configuring it and all that. Uh, Shari is a, a popular uh, board for doing a clear node. And you can get to that by going to handproducts.info slash allstar, or just uh, do a search for Shari, S-H-A-R-I on the internet and you'll find a lot of information there on, on that as well as how to's and stuff. And then the allstarlink.org has a lot of documentation uh, on how to, how to actually uh, configure and build and do an all-star link. I mean, an all-star uh, uh, node. So that's a lot of good information there. And then as I mentioned before, there are some uh, uh, radio less nodes, which means not using a, a radio to connect into a, to a node. And that's through <clears throat> DV switch, which right now is for Android. And then there's a software program called IAX uh, RPT on the PC. And then this kind of just shows a, a Shari board uh, that you can get. Like this is from their, their website. And you can see that it's kind of in a kit form. So you kind of have to do a little bit of uh, soldering and stuff to make that thing work. So the, the clear node was kind of born out of uh, not wanting to actually have to do all that type of stuff. You know, you don't want to have to go out there and, and put the pieces together and buy all the different pieces and stuff. Then uh, the clear node is kind of a, a nice thing where it all comes pre-configured, the software's loaded. And even all of the credentials and things for your Wi-Fi, your passwords, your node numbers, and even if you do want to want to get onto uh, Echo Link, even your Echo Link stuff can be in there. So it can be truly, you know, plug it in out of the box. Uh, it connects to your internet, and you just program your radio for uh, a frequency, a simplex frequency, and and you're off and running. Then uh, this is just kind of a, a screenshot showing that if you went to uh, uh, allstarlink.org, uh, one of the things you can you can actually look up your node number or other nodes, and you can find out who is connected. This is uh, this is the node number five one zero one eight for the W six EK repeater, which they they have an allstar node, and this actually shows the different nodes that are connected to that that repeater. So it's, um, it's very good for that. And, uh, you know, again, they have a whole bunch of information at that, that site. All right, and so I have this for, for question and answers. I can, I can actually, uh, if I just go ahead and drop my screen share, I can show uh, kind of what the uh, information looks like on the, uh, I, can, I can show my clear note and I can also show uh, on my phone the application. So let me go ahead and do this. That'd, that'd be great, Tom. Go ahead and stop the screen share. You want me to do it for you? Yeah. Could you go ahead and stop the screen uh, for me, Gary? Yeah. Okay. Drop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me make sure I get things back here. Okay. So uh, 
Can you see my uh, my screen okay on my phone? Yeah. It just don't hold it much closer because then it gets a little fuzzy because Okay. The... Yeah. So this this is hold, I don't know, hold it up to tiny bit. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. So so this is the application that's actually on the uh this is the clear note application. And at the very top there, it actually shows that there is a connection to uh it shows you who you're connected to. But you can also get a list of connections. So I can use this application to actually uh, drop uh, to you know to connect or disconnect from other nodes. Uh, I can set audio levels, those type of things. If I click on the add, so this is the add connection screen. And at the very bottom there, I have a history of nodes that I've connected to. So it allows me to uh, connect and also disconnect from those nodes. So it's a very convenient way to control a, a clitter node. So, so, so this is my clitter node that I'm running with. Uh, you can see that it's actually running right now. And uh, this is the, uh, the UHF antenna. And then this is kind of a, the green light. There is kind of a heartbeat light for, for status. So <clears throat> this, this is running on a Pi 3B plus. And uh, you know, I can say it's just a very nice little comp uh, compact unit. It has a, uh, a standard um, micro connector, USB micro connector, and so it can be powered off of uh, you know just a standard uh, wall ward, or even in your car off something that gives you uh, USB power. So this is uh, that's pretty much it. And like I said, I've been using the Clear Note for about the last six months. And uh, it works great. I've taken it to different locations. As Barry mentioned, I uh, go up to Lincoln a lot. So I actually put that in. I've used it in the car. I've used it, you know, all sorts of places. Uh, so it's very, very convenient way of actually keeping connected. Anyway, so that, that's my presentation. So I guess I will open up here for, for questions and answers. Okay, hey, great. Um... I heard one, I, just one clarifying uh, question, and that is uh, when you talk about the all, the talk about the Ashari, I heard you say clear node, but I think you meant all star. Is that correct? Sorry. Oh, yeah, so the, 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 it's, it's an all star node, yes. Yeah. So, and then one, one clarifying <laughs> question before we get in it, I think there could be maybe or maybe not a little confusion of all star and clear node. Do I have this correct that all star is the base? And in the clear node, they add some pieces in it, which includes the digital modes, because All Star itself is not the digital mode. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. So the clear node is just a commercialized version, like you know, of made for example the Shari, you know, which is just a radio board and a Pi. And then uh, clear node has added some extra uh, features. I think they added MM uh, DVM. Which is a software package that then, which is also in the uh, the like the open spot and the zoom spots that give you the the digital access. So they've added the extra pieces there out of the box to, so that you do have access to the digital modes. Great. Okay. So let's do this. <clears throat> let's start for questions. Let's start from the Zoom world, and then we'll go to the in-person world. <clears throat> Anybody have any questions um, for? Tom, I'll make it that you can unmute yourself. Go ahead and give your call sign. I acknowledge you, and then we'll get you asking questions to Tom. Who in the Zoom area wants to ask a question? Unmute yourself and fire away. Give a give a call sign. Okay, nothing, but I know there's going to be some. Let's just do it one more time. Anybody in Zoom, on the Zoom world got a question? Because otherwise, we'll go to in a minute. We'll go to the in person. Anybody on Zoom a question? Not, nothing at the moment. <clears throat> hey, uh, John right. Miller, let's get you on. Oh, who had a question? Okay. That was you, Tom. Uh, John Miller, let's get you. Um, let's get you back on mic here if anybody has any questions from the audience. And if they do, it would really be great if they could actually come up to the microphone. That way we can hear them. Or you bring them the microphone. All right, can you hear me? Perfect. Okay, got our first one, Derek Lentz, 77 LDG. DLZ. DLZ, sorry. Yeah, it's a simple one. Um, so you, you've got 
running on uh, Raspberry Pi. Speak up a little louder into the mic, Derek. Okay. Is there any reason uh, that it will not run on a Raspberry Pi 4? Or is it just 3D and, and, and the other one? Okay. Yeah. So the question was, will, it run, will All Star run on a Raspberry Pi 4? And, and the answer is yes, it will. In fact, right now, there is a current uh, issue with, with getting Raspberry Pis. I think all Raspberry Pis are kind of in, uh, in short supply. And I know for Node Ventures, they are having problems being able to actually produce product. In fact, they're saying if you can, if you have a Raspberry Pi 3 or 3B, you can send it to them and they will, it'll help them to, uh, you know, they'll give you a custom build. But yeah, so they are moving towards a Raspberry Pi uh, 4 and uh, Raspberry Pi 4 does work. So you can, you know, if you have a Raspberry Pi 4, you can use that to make your own all-star node. Anybody else got a question? Pretty quiet here now, thanks. You know, let's do this, uh, do a, <clears throat> let's do a hand raise. Uh, we'll do it two places. Uh, I'm going to tell you the question in a minute. Uh, you can count them in person, how many hands will go up, John. And in Zoom, you can just raise your hand on the raise hand function. <clears throat> First question is, how many people have a clear node? Um, well, actually, actually, let's yeah, let's just say clear node, not all star alone, but just clear node. How many people have a clear node? See how many hands go up there, John, and anybody in the Zoom world, uh, I mean in the Zoom world. Raise your hand. I know Tony has got one. one here in person. Got one. Okay, got one. And then how many people? And I'm not seeing anybody right now. I know there's Tony has one. And uh, and how about how many how many people have just All Star? Because you can run All Star without ClearNode. I have one, but I don't have it hooked up, so I'm one on this end. How about on your end, John? All Star. All Star, just All Star. Crickets. How many? Three? Crickets, none. Okay, none. Okay. So it's fair it's fairly <laughs> fairly new. I think one interesting one interesting thing about this that Tom mentioned is you can get into whether you're just on the all star side or the clear node which has all star and the other digital, you can do it with a an existing uh, analog radio. That's pretty interesting. Uh, what else do you want to share there, Tom? Anything else? Uh, maybe some applications, what people are doing, who you're talking to, anything like that? Well, like I, like I mentioned before, a lot of people are using, you know, an all-star node and a, and a clear node to actually, you know, for remote access. But I guess I was uh, was curious. I know that Tony's on here. Is there any interest in actually putting an all-star node on any of the, uh, the SNARS repeaters? I know that, <clears throat> I'll just say this and then if we have something else, John or anybody there, I know that we've talked about not doing uh, through any kind of VOIP on um, the linked the link system because we want to keep it, there's a lot of stuff going on, they want to keep it RF only. So I think that's the answer there, unless John, you got something else to add on that. Not at this time, there's something else we'd have to talk about uh, with the tech team yeah. perhaps. Yeah, I, I, it's an interesting it's an interesting question. As that is, I know technically people could come in from remote. Uh, I think one of the things we've talked about in the past is just keeping an RF. But it does bring up a good point, and that is, if you had something like that, then you could connect in. Um, one other question: Are there on the all star side? Are there different rooms or nodes or stuff that people connect into? that have different conversations, much like uh, DMR or Fusion or, D or DMR, any of those other ones? Yeah, the, there, there's not the notion of, uh, of, of rooms and stuff like you have on DMR or Fusion. Uh, you do have different repeater systems and different systems that are actually have different topics. Like I said, the Absolute Tech Net. If you go to the absolute tech.org, uh, I think it is, they, 
or maybe it's .net. <laughs> they they will they have a page there where you can get through on DMR and you may have an all star connection and stuff. So there are different repeaters and different bridge systems that you know have different topics and things that you can connect to. But there's nothing like the talk groups that you would have on DMR or or Fusion. Okay. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> um. We may or may not be doing another Q&A session for two reasons. One is I'm not sure if there's really going to be more questions, but we can stick around if people have questions. The other is that we've been going actually about an hour and a half here. So um, let me just check with John Miller. What's your what's your flavor here? Looks like we might be towards the end of this. Uh, well, we still got a little time here. We're getting a little thin here on participants, but uh, has anybody got any questions they're going to want to ask? It's pretty quiet here, so I think we're good. Okay. okay. Very good. Well, thank you, Tom. Fascinating conversation. I know i um, talked to you on ClearNode. I've talked to Brian, KJ6EAC has a ClearNode. I've talked to him on DMR, um, and uh, I know Tony has one. What got you interested in this? Because I think at one point you were helping some other people with this. So just tell us about that before we wrap her up. Uh, my interest in ClearNode or uh, All-Star? Yeah, well, both because they're different, but they're but they're kissing cousins. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I, I, I mentioned before is that I started getting uh, well because I have a place up in Lincoln. I guess started getting involved with the W six E K repeater system, and they did have an all star node there, and they also had Echo Link. So I first went in on an Echo Link when I'm back in here in the Bay Area. They have a what they call a coffee break net in the morning, which is is pretty interesting thing to listen to. So I just kind of connected to that. Uh, I am able to connect to them on RF occasionally, you know, based on, on propagation. Uh, but then some people in that club also have a clear node, and then they were just coming through very, very clear on, on the audio side of things. So that's when I got interested in looking at All Star and I'm looking at the Sherry and and uh, thought about maybe putting that together. And then I saw the Clear Note and people had had good reviews of that. So I ended up just buying a Clear Note and using that. Uh, I also have uh, helped, uh, they have a, a 220 repeater on W6EK. And so I actually implemented a All Star node for that. So it's, it's very simple to integrate it into a repeater system. Uh, again, just a, if you can get a hold of a Pi, like a Pi 3, Pi 4, and also an interface board, you can actually connect up uh, and put a node into it. So it's it's been, been fun for that part of it. I always like the technical side of things. So it's just, uh, you know, I, again, I was using Echolink, but uh, the All Star is actually a much superior way over Echolink. And you can also use a radio, like I say, and just an analog radio to. So it feels more like radio, I guess, talking into uh, into a repeater that way. Not that that's really good. I do know that a few different people in the Sierras have used All Star. There was a RF based system uh, up on uh, Donner Summit, and uh, the RF link went out, and it was the middle of winter. So they end up putting an All Star in to solve that. I know some other people moved to other areas, and they linked it up that way. So yet another very cool tool to link stuff together. Is anybody doing All-Star or ClearNode into HF? Uh, I have not heard of anybody using using that into HF. I mean, I, I guess it could be. Uh, I, I imagine one of the one of the applications would be like for a remote remote radio, you know, using your All-Star node having a node on an H on a remote HF radio to be able to, you know, basically remote into that and be able to control that and stuff using, you know, tones and things. So that, yeah. that, that would yeah. be possible. There's other ways to do it. Okay. One more time. Is there anybody in the zoom world that has any questions? If you do <clears throat> go ahead and uh, just unmute yourself and give your call sign. See if we have any more questions before we uh, finish this up. Okay, thank you so much, Tom. Very fascinating. How do they get? Uh, how do they get hold of you if they have any questions? Well, okay. There, there's a couple of ways. One, you can uh, contact me on email, which uh, I'm also on Telegram. If uh, if you want.
want that. I'm also uh, email, which would be my call sign nn6h at arrl.net. And uh, I'm also we also on uh, I can mention the weekly clear node net on the W6 EK repeater, which is the node five one zero one eight. Uh, and we also have echo link connections. So if you just want to go and you know, listen into our net on Monday nights at 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, it typically goes for an hour, an hour and a half. And we have you know a lot of you know questions about people asking about ClearNode, people that are new to ClearNode, people that that have questions about All Star. You know, all that stuff can be be talked about. And again, you can get access to that through uh, Echo Link or uh, an All Star or RF if you're in the area. And you can find information about that at the w6ek.org. And there is a uh, uh, information there about how to connect in and also go to the uh, net the nets page. Uh, and again, this is on our uh, the two meter repeater for W6ek. And, and even though we, we might not be in that area, they can connect in through All Star or some of the other, um, some of the other nodes remotely. Or, or, or Echolink. Thank you, Tom. Yes. Or Echolink. That's fascinating. Thank you, Tom. Great conversation. <clears throat> Fantastic presentation. You know, this is the first time we've done the hybrid. I think it worked out pretty well. We had to work through a little technical bug from the beginning, but uh, it's good. And thank you for pinch hitting so quickly. I know that. Uh, <laughs> We had had Bob Heil scheduled for this time, and he couldn't make it. He's going to be on for next month. So thanks for pinch hitting coming on. And also thanks for your contribution to SNARS and being the net control on the first uh, Tuesday uh, of, the, uh, of the month. Yeah. Um, well, 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 thank you for having me and letting me talk about it. And, I, and just uh, kind of a final note there, I actually have done the net using my clear node, just using the DMR mode for that. So I so it so it does work out well and it's nice and handy. But anyway, I do appreciate the time to be able to talk about ClearNode and All Star. And anybody has any questions, you know, please contact me. We'd be glad to to help you out and give you any information that you need. Okay, so thank you, Tom. November November six hotel, and they can get you. They can get hold of you. So I think this is going to end the um, recording. Um, anything you want to say, John Miller? Because oh, let me just say. I think this was the presentation and the Q&A section together, so we're not having another Q&A section. Anything you want to say on your end, John, out of, uh, out of the Ramada on that end? So not really. This was an awesome uh, presentation. Thanks a lot, Tom. You did a great job, and uh, yeah, everybody enjoyed it there. So uh, thanks again. I appreciate you putting in the effort to come on with us today. Well, thank you. I appreciate hey. it. Super, super good. I hope everybody has a great afternoon. We'll see you on Zoom next month um, for our monthly meeting and uh, looking forward to another um, in-person, uh, looks like in July. And have fun today. And if anybody goes over to the Hammond Hi-Fi after, enjoy. Okay, John, I'm going to stop the recording and uh, we'll get it posted on YouTube. This was the STARS monthly meeting presentation section uh, with NN6H Tom, the presenter, um, about ClearNode and All-Star.